All right, welcome back. U.S. Customs and Border Protection has temporarily halted railway operations at international crossing bridges in Texas. On Monday, Texas governor created a new law that allows local police to arrest migrants who cross the border illegally. That law already being challenged in court. Emily Schmidt reports on the surge of migrants at the southern border. On Monday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott made it a state crime to enter Texas illegally, giving local law enforcement federal-like immigration power. Senate Bill 3 for more border wall construction is now law in the state of Texas. Abbott, surrounded by supporters, arrived to Brownsville, Texas to protesters who fear the law will lead to racial profiling. We need to respond with a heart and with a better system. The system is strained. Border authorities apprehended about 192,000 migrants between ports of entry last month. Tucson Sector Chief Patrol Agent says more than 37,000 migrants were stopped there in the first two weeks of December. Our border has been erased. We have no border any longer. While Republican presidential candidates blame President Biden for record high migrant apprehensions, White House and Senate negotiators are trying to work out a border deal. Without that aid to Ukraine, Israel and more is stalled. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says there's progress, but it will take time. We cannot afford to get this wrong. Monday, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, which says it had seen a surge in migrants moving by train, temporarily halted railway operations at international crossing bridges in Eagle Pass and El Paso. The Association of American Railroads called for a policy reversal, saying in a statement, every day the border remains closed unleashes a cascade of delay on both sides of the border. Like so much on the border, multiple sides and no easy middle. I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.